okay, I'm going to do something that's it's so 2020, or actually at this point, it's probably more so 2019. It's old news at this point. It's what everyone does. It's a tier maker list. A lot of Star Wars YouTubers do it. I mean, people do it for everything, but I'm, I want to do a Star Wars one. So here we go. We got uh, all the main movies, including the spinoffs, and all the TV series, the animated shows, and the live action show. Obviously, this could change with other stuff that comes out, but I've had to mull this over for a while. And I probably won't, I probably have to do some shuffling around too when I change my mind. I don't know if I like their, their system here, the, the S, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Like, just get rid of the E, it's kind of dumb. Anyway, let's get let's get uh, one thing straight. One one thing that has to be done out of the way first. Boop. All right. Um, I'm not gonna put resistance on here because I haven't watched it. So let's just ignore that. Let's put that down here. They sometimes people put a little category that says, actually, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to make this F. And this, never seen. Actually, the, the one thing that they don't have on here, or the, the few things they don't have on here, is they don't have the the Jendi Tartakovsky Clone Wars series on here, nor do they have the Ewok movies, the TV movies, or the holiday specials, but I don't think we need those on here, because they're not canon, so this is all just canon stuff. So, let's see, uh, put that in Never Seen, this goes there, um, S tier, I will put Empire at, uh, let me scroll up, nope, 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 that's gonna go to S tier. Now, what's hard for me is, do I put A New Hope in S or A, that's gonna be a tough decision because without the first movie you don't get Empire so it's kind of almost a more important movie but we're not going by like importance here we're going by my favorites uh, you know what it's 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 just as good as Empire so I think it's got to go in S uh, next up where do I put Return of the Jedi it sucks. I don't know why I'm why I didn't change the size of the screen. Um, I like it more than people do. Like it's it's actually rated lower than Revenge of the Sith, which I think is crazy to me. Um, I think it's better than than most people give it credit for. Like I don't mind the Ewoks. I understand that the whole like beginning scene with Jabba. Like if you think about it logistically, like the characters. What was their plan there? Like, some of that doesn't make sense, but uh, it's just tough. Um, I, I don't put it on S. I think it's either A or B. But I think the, the good outweighs the bad, so... And there's so much good. Like, just the ending with Darth Vader and Luke, I think, just... It has to go in A, I think. It's just just below the, 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 the original two. Um, okay, let's get the prequels out of the way. Actually, uh, let's do... Let's do the best prequel first. Revenge of the Sith, where does that go? I think it's either B or C. Um, that's tough. No, it's B. I think it's definitely B. Again, I might switch these around, but we'll see. Uh, Attack of the Clones, there is some good in there. I like how much, I mean, like, like I, I've said this before, the, but the prequels, yes, the execution was not perfect, but the ideas were there. The, it expanded the universe a lot. The world building was there. George had, clearly had a vision. It wasn't a, 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 a committee made film. I've said this before, but George is basically the Hideo Kojima of the film industry. Um... I think that's going to go in C because, yeah, some of the dialogue is wooden and not great, but 
But then I think also Phantom Menace will go there. Yeah. And then let's let's do let's do Clone Wars next. They don't have the Clone Wars movie on here. So pretend there's a Clone Wars movie one. If I had to put the Clone Wars movie on here, I think it would be the one that came out in 08 in theaters. It wasn't very good. The show is far better, but as a movie it didn't work. I think the movie would probably go in D. Yeah, I think if the, so pretend the Clone Wars movie is here. Um but the Clone Wars show, I think it's some of like some of the best Star Wars out there. I think I will if you have to average it out, I think it would be B. There are episodes, like, here's the thing. If I have to look at it as a whole, yeah, it's B. But there are individual episodes that would go under A or S. Like, there are some S-tier episodes. But I can't separate that out. So just as a overall rating of the show in general, I think it's got to go here. Oh, it's tough not to put an A, though. If there was one between A and B, I would put it there. But it's just barely a B. It's, like, it. it's close to an A, but not quite. And again, this is just my list. You can disagree. Let me know what you guys think of my list in the in the comments. I know there's going to be people that are upset about this, but I will one day explain why. Um, and then let's do Rogue One. I think Rogue One could still go in C. I don't... Yeah, I think that goes in C. It's not like anything that breaks the lore or anything. I mean, that's that's part of the reason why these are going to be lower is because there's some lore-breaking stuff in them. Um, Rebels, I think, is better than people get it cre give it credit for. And also, in, in hindsight, I think it's better than when we first watched it because the expectations were high after Clone Wars. We expected it to be another Clone Wars. But looking back on it, if you rewatch it, I think it is pretty good. So I think Rebels... It's not as good as Clone Wars, though. So I think it's probably going to go in C as well. Um, Solo, it just just kind of exists. Like I I didn't even want to want to see a, a a Han Solo origin movie. Everyone forgets that it even exists. It's kind of funny. So I'm just gonna put it in D. It's not like egregious, but it just kind of is there. Like it just exists, and there's it's nothing to write home about. Uh, Force Awakens. When I first saw it, I was like riding high, and I, I. The hype was there, but after, like, what has it been, five years or so since it's been out? The more you watch it, the more things, some things don't make sense. And I'm going to I'm gonna probably make a huge video about all the sequels, about pointing out the things that I don't like about them, um, but also the things that I do like. There are some things, but with a few years of reflection and thinking about it, I, I don't know if none of the sequels really hold up to the other ones so but i don't think it deserves to go an f but it's not i it sounds crazy but i don't think the sequels are as good as the prequels because like i said the ideas were there it's just the execution was not there for the prequels i know people are going to disagree with that and maybe i'll get a lot of down votes for this i don't know but i think force awakens when you look at it objectively and after you get past some of the hype of like because i was everybody was hyped for that movie you all wanted it to be good but having luke in it for like two seconds and there's just the, the initial premise i don't want to get too too far into it because i'll make videos but the, the whole premise of the the sequel trilogy i think was flawed because it was just a rehash of the original so i think it's got to go here i don't want to have to do that but and again, there's, there's, like I said, the fandom is divided, so I'm probably going to get half up votes, half down votes, but we'll see. And then Rise of Skywalker, I feel bad for, well, I don't know, only a little bit, because they had to try to fix what Last Jedi kind of screwed up. So, but I don't think it deserves to be on this level. But again, there's so many things wrong with it. If there was a place between D, D and F, I would put it there, but I'll just put it here for now. Mandalorian's going to be tough. Because I think it's better than the prequels. But not quite on the level of these. Or you know what? It might be on the level of... I'm going to put it at B. 
I think that's fair. And then, like I said, not watch there. I think that's that's it, though. I don't know if I'm going to have to do any rearranging. I think I've made up my mind. I might have to... Maybe I might put some up to A, but I feel like Return of the Jedi up there by itself makes sense. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. I don't Maybe Maybe I'll give it like 10 minutes to see if I change my mind. Yeah, again, the Ewok movies, I would put um, here. Haven't seen them. The Jenny Tartakovsky stuff is pretty good. I'd probably put that up here with, with the other Clone Wars. So the Jenny Tartakovsky here. The Clone Wars movie would probably be C. They just didn't include it. And then <laughs> the holiday special obviously goes in F. Wow, that's bad. Although... Actually, you know what? It might actually if there's a low if there's a rating lower than F, I'd put it there because as much as much as problems I have with Last Jedi, I don't think it's as bad as the Holiday Special. The Holiday Special is just egregious on so many levels. Like at least the at least the Last Jedi is competently made. It looks visually, it looks good. It's just the problem. All the problems come down to writing. The directing is fine. It's competent. Everything else, like uh, everything else, but the writing is is competent. But the writing is what really brings it down. But yeah, if there was a, a, a rating lower than F, like Z, that's where I would put Holiday Special. But yeah, I think that's about it. I don't, I don't think I, I'm going to do any changes to this unless, and and we'll see where the future stuff goes. Like Ahsoka, maybe I'll, when Ahsoka comes out, I'll update this, uh, and Bad Batch, and but I'd have to wait for that to end. So. Yeah, that's where my tier list stands for now for the theatrical Star Wars stuff. Let me know uh, any other tier list you want me to do. I might do an MCU one. That's going to be tough. Um, that's probably what I'll do next, an MCU one. Um, maybe I'll do... Well, I haven't seen enough Star Trek to do it yet. Eventually I'll do a Star Trek one. but And maybe I'll do other things in Star Wars like characters tier list. I don't know. I'll do an Indiana Jones one, too. Or maybe I'll wait for the fifth movie. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let me know what you thought of my list. What is your guys' list? Tell me in the comments. Uh, feel free to dislike if you hate where I put certain things or like if you if you enjoyed where I put them. Again, this is just how I feel about the movies. You can, you can have your own thoughts about it. But let me know in the comments, and I will see you in whatever video I make next. Thank you for watching.